Welcome sa sipnayan.com uh, In this video, magsusolve tayo ng another problem na involving um, digits, ano? digits of numbers. Kung napanood niyo yung part 2, yung part na ito is kapareho lang sa ng part 1, but in this part, ay gagamit tayo ng dalawang variables. Ano? So, we will let t be the tens digit of the number and u be the uh, units digit or the ones digit. So, tingnan natin muna. Ano? So, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 9. If the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 more than the original number. So, mag-represent muna tayo. So, meron tayong t, no? which is equal to the tens digit no? of a number. And then, meron din tayong u, which is equal to the units digit. So, pag mayroon tayong number na, for example, uh, 31, yung t natin, yun yung ating uh, tens digit, yung 3, at ang u natin, yung ating units digit, which is equal to 1. So, yun yung ibig sabihin nito, no? And dito sa problem natin, ang sabi, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 9. So, ibig sabihin, pag ginad mo yung digits niya, magiging 9 siya. So, yung una equation natin is 2 plus, or t plus u equals 9, no? Next, if the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 more than the original number. So, ano ba yung original number muna? Ang original number natin is 10, 10 t plus u, no? So, kung, kung nabasa ninyo yung previous uh, post dito or kung napanood ninyo yung, pre yung mga previous videos, ay uh, in-explain ko na ito, no? So, ibig sabihin ng 10 t plus u, 10 times the 10th digit number plus the unit digit. So, for example, ito sa 31 ito, ang ibig sabihin nito, di ba, is 30 plus 1, no? Which is equal to 3 or 10 times 3 plus 1. So, dito, ang 10th digit natin ay uh, 3 at ang units digit natin ay 1. No? So, 10 times 3 plus 1 is 30 plus 1 which is equal to 31. Ano sabi niya? So, the, if the digit are reversed, then the new number is 45 more than the original number. So, ito muna yung original number natin. So, ano mangyayari pag ni-reverse natin yung digit? For example, yung, yung 31 na ito. Pag ni-reverse natin yung digit niya, magiging 13, di ba? So, ang mangyayari dito, magiging ito na lang. 10 na lang siya. 10 plus 1, which is equal to 10 times 1 plus 3. Sorry, this is 3. 13 siya. So, dito, ang, ang tens digit natin, naging 1, so nabaliktad siya, at ang units digit natin ay naging 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang reverse digit natin ay 10 times the units digit, which is u, plus t. No? Ito yung ating reverse number. Okay, so, uh, tingnan natin kung ano yung sinasabi dito sa sentence, ano? So, if the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 more than the original number. So, if the digits are reversed, the new number, no? New number, siguro maganda, ilipat natin dito banda. Para mayroon tayo space. So, new number, is equal to 45 more than the original number. Okay? So, ano ba yung new number natin? Ang new number natin, ito yung uh, reverse number natin. Ano? So, magiging 10u plus t is equal to 10t plus u plus 45. Okay, so pwede na natin i-simplify ang lagay na, natin lahat mga variables sa kaliwa. Magiging 10u minus yung u natin dito plus yung t natin dito minus 10t is equal to 45. So magiging 9u, yung t natin minus 10t is magiging minus 
or maging negative 9 t equals 45 no and then meron tayong uh, common factor na 9 no so pwede natin i-divide lahat sa 9 so magiging u minus t equals 45 divided by 9 is 5 di ba okay so ito yung pangalawang equation natin so yung una equation natin dito kanina yung ito yung t plus u equals 9 so pwede gamitin natin yung uh, unang equation maging uh, systems of linear equation siya no so gagawin natin is is substitute natin yung value ng either t or u dito sa equation 1 is substitute natin dun sa equation 2 so if t plus u is equal to 9 pwede nating sabihin na u equals 9 minus t no so nag minus t lang ako sa both sides kaya siya mawawala yung t dito and then magkakaroon ng minus t dito and then we substitute the value of u, no? Substitute natin ito, yung value ng u, which is 9 minus t, dito sa, dito sa value nito, u. No? So, magiging u minus t equals, anong value ng u natin? 9 minus t minus t, no? And then equals 45. So 9 minus 2t equals 45. Or sorry, sorry, hindi siya 45. This is only 5, no? So na divide na pala tayo dito. So this is 5. This is 5. Pag nilipat natin to dito, at nilipat natin to dito magiging 4 equals 2t which means that t is equal to 2, no? Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, ang 10th digit natin ay 2. No? Ito yung 2 natin, and then, since 9 ang sum nila, ng 10th digit saka ng units digit, ibig sabihin ay 7 ito, kasi 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. So, yung number natin, bali, is 27. This is our original number. So, ano ba yung reverse na number natin? Ang reverse number ng 27 is 72. At ang sabi dito, if the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 more than the original number. So, matcheck natin kung tama yung sagot natin, if 72 is 45 more than 27. So, pwede tayo mag-minus to check. So, this is 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. And this is becomes 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. So, tama, ano? 45 more than the original number. Okay? So, as a summary, nirepresent mo na natin yung um, problem using two equations. Ito yung t plus u equals 9, sum of the digit is equal to 9. And then, yung pangalawang equation is that dito sa pangalawang sentence na ito, which simplified to this equation. So, nung dalawa na equations natin, pwede tayong mag systems of linear equation at ang ginamit natin dito ay yung strategy na tatawag natin na substitution. So, kung hindi kayo familiar dyan, pwede nyo tignan yung uh, or pwede nyo tignan sa textbook ninyo kung ano ba yung systems of linear equation at kung ano ba yung strategy na distribution. Okay, so maraming salamat. I hope meron kayo natutunan dito sa uh, problem na ito and see you dun sa part 4 ng problem na ito. Maraming salamat.